pro-choice are saying they care so much about women. Well, I'm a woman. Roe v. Wade is law of the land, and we need to maintain choice for everyone. Let's have a conversation about reality. Okay, when abortion right. is illegal, oh, yes. women die. No, no, no. Women are dying today in Planned Parenthood clinics, in clinics across this nation. Abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. Well, the only thing right now out of those three that we're living with is that it's legal. This is the greatest human rights abuse of our time. We were founded on the principle that life is an inalienable right. You cancel that, you're done. These are women's rights. We just think that women can make their own decisions about their bodies. What about the body of the child? I'm not asking people to say that the baby's rights supersede the mother's. You know, my argument is that they are equal. It is not a baby. A baby is a fetus that has been born. If you don't want to have an abortion, don't have one. Don't women have a right to choose. It's our bodies. Ugh, women deserve better. We deserve the truth. We deserve options. Being pro-life is a choice. I mean, part of being pro-life is fighting for the rights of the mother because she is being lied to, she is being deceived. We have terribly failed women. If the only choice we can offer women is abortion. And I love women so much that that's why I'm pro-life. But a lot of people thought that they were helping women and really giving them the solution. And now people, are, after all these years and all the years of suffering, more and more people are starting to come forward and say, look what it did to my life. And so if you're looking, at this home today, and you're thinking you want to exercise your freedom of choice, just know that that freedom will be with you for the rest of your life. And that regret will never go.